The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front, simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars on your monthly bill and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage and is available at Appalachian Wireless. Wednesday, May 4th, Martin County hosted the ribbon cutting for the Addiction Recovery Cares White Oak Hill Residential Recovery Center. The center will offer inpatient drug and alcohol treatment and will create 50 long-term jobs for the county. Uh, this is really special. This is the newest ARC facility that is going to help repair lives, uh, get families back together, and get people back into the workforce. The opioid and drug epidemic has taken so many lives, and it's, it's deterred uh, and detoured so many others. What we're seeing here today is a community that has come together to provide the resources to give so many people second chances. And the best part is clients of, of ARC, those in recovery, uh, and treatment have come over from Louisa to be a part to remind us all of why we're doing what we're doing. White Oak Hill will open in the fall and will house 140 patients. Addiction Recovery Care has focused on rural communities with outpatient and residential programs and White Oak Hill will be the 19th treatment center opened by ARC. You know rural communities usually are the last to get access to things but one of the things I'm proud about in eastern Kentucky because of Operation Unite because of Congressman Hal Rogers and the work that they've done. They plowed ground here in the 5th District for organizations like us to start. And so Eastern Kentucky may be national, the national ground zero, the epi opioid epidemic, but if you look pre-pandemic, Eastern Kentucky is also number one in the nation in reducing overdose deaths. We're glad to be a part of all the other effort that's, that's led to that. The treatment center is housed in the former Inez Middle School, giving a second chance not only to those in treatment, but to the building. So first, our partners on this facility, Greg May and his group, have done a tremendous job. And when you walk through, you see that even though we're going to be treating rural population, uh, low-income population, um, we believe in the dignity of every life. And so the investments that he's made that we'll make in our facilities to make sure people feel that love and dignity when they walk through the doors is going to be great. And then I love that we've taken this building and give it a second chance. So now it'll be a place of healing, a place of education, and a place of second chances just like it's gotten a second chance. For more information on addiction recovery care and their programs, visit ARCCenters.com. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.